Hello guys, welcome to another video of Pure Sim Gamer. Today I'm going to show you how to fly scenic routes in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 using a just autopilot. For that I'm going to load uh, flight plans that are um, created by the community. So it are community driven flight plans available on the website. And I'm going to show you right now how to do that. So where can we find those flight plans? Well, simply open up a browser and go to the web address worldtour.flights. And here you go. This is the home page of this uh, database of flight plans created by the community. And as you can see, immediately you can search uh, by keyword, but you can also go through the categories. For instance, tropical sceneries, desert sceneries, forests. Um, let's pick one and uh, go to mountains. You can see that there is a list of uh, flights with an icon showing uh, the imagery, the scenery that you can expect. Um, I will go for the first one in uh, the New Zealand West Coast and click on it. It's a flight of 35 minutes. Here is the route. Um, as you can see, it's a coastline route through the mountains. Uh, actually, there is a description. It says that it departs from Milford Sound uh, and that it goes through dramatic uh, fjords of the coast of the Tasman Sea. So, um, there is some scenery that you can expect. Beautiful mountains, beautiful fjords. And uh, here, down there, you can download the flight plan. Just take a, mental, take a mental note of the altitude that you have to fly on. In the flight altitudes right here, you can see that we will have to fly above 5,500 meters uh, to uh, avoid uh, colliding with uh, the surrounding mountains. So, click on download and uh, save it uh, to your local hard drive. Uh, and then I will show you how you can use this flight plan. Now back in Flight Simulator we are going to load uh, the flight plan that we have just downloaded. So click on world map. And then um, let me open up the full screen. Here down here you can say uh, load save. So uh, you click on load and uh, navigate to your uh, hard drive where you downloaded the flight plan. Uh, I have put it in flight plans right here and this is the file. And as you see, it immediately uh, pops up the route um, down in uh, New Zealand. Um, I can see it's night there, so I'll, I'll adjust the time to daytime. And uh, this is the route that we uh, saw earlier on the website. So all you have to do um, is uh, fly it. But um, my advice is to use a Garmin 1000 uh, plane uh, so that we can fly it in autopilot. So I'll go and select uh, a plane. Uh, it's actually a propeller. Um, a good plane would be the Cessna 172. Let's see where it is. The Cessna 172 is right here. So if you take the Cessna 172 Skyhawk with Garmin 1000, then you can fly this route in autopilot. Select the plane, close, and we can go and fly. Here we are on a beautiful landing strip in New Zealand, our departure point. Um, we are going to fly this flight uh, plan in autopilot. But before we do that, we have to set the altitude we want to fly on. So if you look at the main display here, there's this button VS, which stands for vertical speed. Um, simply click on it and we will set our altitude here where you have the blue um, number. Uh, by uh, turning this knob. So we'll set it to 5,500, uh, well maybe a little bit higher, 5,600 in this case for this flight plan. Also we want our plane to um, gain altitude of 300 feet per minute until we reach uh, that level. Uh, so click twice again on vertical speed and then click on nose up and you will see here the climbing uh, rate set. 
So we'll uh, click on nose up until it's set to 300 feet per minute. So uh, what will happen once we engage autopilot? The plane will maintain a climb rate of 300 feet per minute until it reaches 5,600 feet where it will level off. Now the only thing we have to do is to manually um, take off so that uh, we can uh, get to clear skies away from the mountains. So that's what we are going to do right now. Put the throttle to full, I disengaged the brake and I'll maintain a runway acceleration until we have about 65 uh, knots. And there we go, lift off. And I will keep manually flying until we are safely up in the air before we engage autopilot. Look at the scenery, it's wonderful. So we still have to climb to avoid hitting the mountains. Ah, there is the open sea, fjords. And once you're comfortable that you got um, close to the navigation path, which you can see here on the right hand side, you can engage autopilot by clicking AP. So I click on it, autopilot is now engaged, that you can see that right here. And also we want to follow GPS, so you have to click on NAV. So I click here NAV and GPS is enabled. And as you can see, the plane immediately uh, adapts its uh, route and tries to intercept the red line that you can see here on the GPS uh, uh, screen. And from now on, I can just sit back, relax for 35 minutes as the plane will uh, follow its route through the fjord here and um, and just enjoy the trip. Thank you for watching and I hope you have fun uh, simulating this too.